Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Dan, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on operational test and evaluation. Or what I like to call, OTND. What is operational test and evaluation? Operational test and evaluation is a fielded test, under realistic combat conditions, for a major defense acquisition program of any item or component of a weapon system, equipment, or munitions for the purposes of determining its operational effectiveness and operational suitability for combat. Operational test and evaluation is defined in Title 10, United States Code Sections 139 and 4171. The code is used to ensure test adequacy and says testing should only incorporate validated, accredited threat representations unless coordinated with the Director of Operational Test and Evaluation. The definition of operational test and evaluation is the field test under realistic combat conditions, of any item of, or key component of, weapons, equipment, or munitions for the purposes of determining the effectiveness and suitability of the weapons, equipment, or munitions for use in combat by typical military users, and the evaluation of the results of such test. What is the main purpose of operational test and evaluation? The main purpose of ot and is to test a system in the actual or simulated environment that it was designed for with users of the system in realistic operational conditions. This will determine if the system is operationally effective, suitable, and survivable for combat. What are the main operational test and evaluation criteria? The main evaluation criteria is used to determine if a system is 1. Operationally effective, 2. Operationally suitable, and 3. Survivable. The first criteria is operational effectiveness, a measure of the overall ability of a system to accomplish a mission when used by representative personnel in the environment planned or expected for operational employment of the system. The second criteria is operational suitability, the degree to which a system can be placed and sustained satisfactorily in field use with consideration being given to availability, transportability, interoperability, reliability, maintainability, safety, human factors, manpower logistics supportability, and training requirements. The final criteria is survivability, this includes the elements of susceptibility, vulnerability, and recoverability. As such, survivability is an important contributor to operational effectiveness and suitability. These are the main evaluation criteria for operational test and evaluation. There are three main tests conducted for operational test and evaluation. These are 1. Operational assessments. 2. Initial operational test and evaluation. 3. Follow on operational test and evaluation. The first test is operational assessments. An evaluation of operational effectiveness, operational suitability, and survivability made by an independent operational test organization. This operational test can be made throughout a system's development. The focus of an operational assessment is on significant trends noted in development efforts, programmatic voids, risk areas, adequacy of requirements and the ability of the program to support adequate operational testing. The second test is initial operational test and evaluation. This test is conducted on production, or production representative articles, to determine whether systems are operationally effective and suitable for intended use by representative users to support the decision to proceed beyond low-rate initial production. And final test is follow-on operational test and evaluation. This test may be conducted after the full rate production decision review to refine the estimates made during initial operational test and evaluation, evaluate changes, and reevaluate the system to ensure that it continues to meet operational needs and retains its effectiveness in a new environment or against a new threat. These are the three main test activities during operational test and evaluation. There are many resources available that go into much more detail on operational test and evaluation. A few of these resources can be found on the ActNotes webpage to include 1. The Defense Acquisition University Test and Evaluation Management Guide 2. The Department of Defense Test and Evaluation Management Guide And finally, the Air Force Test and Evaluation Guidebook. These are just a few of the guides you can use to learn more about operational test and evaluation. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on operational test and evaluation. For more information, please visit the ActNotes webpage for a list of great resources. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ActNotes.